Saturday morning, breakfast for the kids, pancakes and maple syrup. But could you imagine it without the maple syrup? The dual threats of invasive insects and climate change could change the breakfast table forever. Maple syrup farmers like David Marvin of Butternut Mountain Farm in Vermont are concerned. Asian longhorn beetle prefers maple to other species. David has been actively farming on Butternut Mountain since 1970, on land his parents bought more than 60 years ago, and he has witnessed the changes. These uh, traumatic events um, sometimes make me, um, well, they make me go to the woods with a heavy heart. <laughs> Every spring at the beginning of maple sugaring season, David and his crew carefully collect sap from tap holes in maple sugar trees, running the sap through over 100 miles of pipe into their sugar house, and processing the sap into the many grades of fresh maple syrup we know and love. There's a syrup for every purpose and a purpose for every syrup. <laughs> My favorite thing to do with maple syrup is to take light amber or fancy syrup and put it on very high quality ice cream. David believes there is reason for hope. While it very much frightens me, I think there's potential for us to, to um, curtail it if, if the public is aware of what we need to do, particularly not to move firewood, not to move uh, wood products that could have contained that insect. The Nature Conservancy is focusing its efforts nationwide on preventing the spread of forest pests to keep maple syrup on the breakfast table. We all have a role to play in preserving the sweetness of breakfast and all of the trees and forests we love. For more information on how to slow the spread of forest pests and the importance of not moving firewood, visit don'tmovefirewood.org. <laughs>